Yogi Biker! Good morning. Howdy, folks. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's already hot. It's always hot in the summers. I hate the summers here. But anyway, we're headed up to Harley Davidson of Waco later this morning. HD Waco, I believe is what they call it. For a bike wash. So we're going to go check that out. I'm going to ride up there with my brother and uh, my identical twin brother. And uh, maybe another buddy or two. And yeah, just check it out for, for a little food and fellowship and bike washing. So let's see how that goes. So here, here's the deal. I, uh, I don't really watch regular TV anymore. I just can't. It's just all, it's just hard to, to stomach just everything that's going on. So I've pretty much gotten to watch where I just, or gotten to where I just watch YouTube most of the time. And it's kind of evolved over the last few years where it's a lot of motorcycle vloggers. I watch all the, you know, Adam Sandoval, I, I bought the damn bike. I, I bought a 2016 Road King. It's my first motorcycle ever. I'm just learning how to do it. Uh, took the motorcycle safety class. Got my license. Anyway, I'm just learning. Uh, that's why I call myself the bogey biker. Because I'm also a golfer. I've been playing golf my whole life. I'm a fairly decent golfer. You know, um, but if you were a bad golfer, you'd be a bogey, uh, a bogey golfer. So I call myself bogey biker because I'm kind of a business marketing person, and I thought it sounded cool and it makes sense for what we're doing. But anyway, so I've started watching all these motorcycle bloggers, I guess, um, and the Million Dollar Bogan down in Australia, Danny Highs. Cycle Fanatics, Beat a Boy, See a Motorcycle, all these guys. And I thought it would be cool to, to document uh, our trips too. We're not getting any younger. It'd be nice to look back and, you know, and uh, have record of some of this, these fun things that we're doing. So that was sort of where the idea for the, for the channel started. But the hardest part seems like to me is you have to be somewhat entertaining you can't just turn the camera on and not say anything I guess you can I mean I've seen some channels that just just somebody you know just talking and then they'll look people like different things so but the hardest part for me is when you click the camera on and it's just you staring staring into the into the camera is you got to be somewhat entertaining and you know when you're sober it's when I'm sober, I'm not all that entertaining. When I've had a few drinks, maybe I'm a little entertaining, but I guess I could put together some of the outtakes of all this stuff. It's pretty comical, just trying to say it the right way or get the right camera angle and all that stuff. So I don't know where this is gonna evolve, but I have enjoyed learning how to edit some of the videos and, and add the music and make it a little more dramatic, but it, it's fun to look back and everybody seems to enjoy watching uh, the few that I've done so far. So we're gonna keep doing it, see where it goes. But the, the overall theme of the channel, the original thought was well, we're gonna, me and a, my brother and a, another buddy or two. Uh, by the way, we, we ride with a group of guys, we call ourselves the Rusty Bolts. We're just a bunch of old guys limping around. Uh, but really, really, fun group of guys and mostly a uh, combination of lifelong friends and family and and some newer friends and great friends so uh, anyway but the thought is we're gonna put our golf clubs on our Harleys and I know that's not a new concept I've seen um, different mounts uh, I've seen 
you can buy on Amazon a mount where the where the clubs stand up straight and, and behind the bicycle behind the motorcycle and you can do that. I don't like the way that looks. We're working on uh, something new and different, I believe, uh, to mount the clubs uh, so we can easily load them up and go play golf. And we would probably, you know, review the golf courses that we play and maybe the roads that we take to get there and just sort of the combination of golf and Harley Davidson seems cool to me. For most middle-aged men, what's cooler than golf and Harley Davidson? So here, let me show you what, what I mean. So here's my 2016 Road King. Again, first motorcycle ever of any kind. Pop bolt move. We bought a removable tool pack mount and this industrial wire shelf. It's really heavy duty, but lightweight. It's not gonna sit up there right really far. So we're gonna add a spacer underneath. So saddlebag. Saddlebags will open. Oh, that's locked. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious if any of you have tried something similar. Like I said, you can buy the ones that just stand up straight or at an angle coming off the side, but I don't really like that. I like the way it looks better. Coming off the back and the side like that. So anyway, we're gonna give it a shot. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions that might help us out. All right, so we're gonna get suited up and head over to Harley Davidson Waco. Okay, I gotta go. Go get him. Let's be careful out there. HD Waco, which by the way, again, my background is sort of business and marketing and all that stuff. I would call it like Bear Trap Harley or something cool, but it has nothing to do with me. They seem like really nice people over there. And uh, we're gonna go check out the bike wash event today. And uh, I'm sure it'll be a fun time. And I'm, get ready and go meet my brother and another buddy up there and just enjoy the day even though it's miserable hot in central texas in july i'd rather be in montana or alaska but uh, i'm also lucky very lucky to be here where we live with lots of great people so anyway come along for the ride please subscribe like comment all that stuff it helps oh, come on please jerry i'm begging you please come on please uh, I'm having more and more fun doing this, so we'll see where it goes. We got a big day out there. Big one. We got a full moon, people are gonna be amped. All right? Say something funny, dance monkey. <laughs> <laughs>
you got to introduce yourself to Bogey Biker Nation. My name's Jay. I'm the Bogey Biker's brother. Yeah. Twin brother, if you can't tell. How long have you been riding? Uh, about, I guess, three years. Three years now. Oh, no, no, no. Two years. Two years. And what tell us what, what bike you got? I got a 2016 Ultra Limited. I've had this for about, well, since about April, I think. Bike wash, so we're at Harley Davidson Waco. Let's go check it out. Hey, Jim. Can you tell us about what's happening today? So what we got going here at Harley Davidson Waco is got the bikini bike wash going. We got free hot dogs, free beer, water. We got bikes all over the place. We got Emily doing the same thing. We each other. There you go. Just come on out. We're here from 12 to 4, but open until 6 o'clock. Welcome come see us. We got some dogs. Welcome out and hang with us. It's not bad light. Are you prepared for this newfound stardom you're gonna have being on the Bogey Biker channel? Hell yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody? <laughs> That's a problem like when this camera's on like it is now. I'm, ha I'm having a problem like you gotta be on. Like you can't just be, yeah. like I'm pretty entertaining after a few beers, but right. I'm really not all that entertaining <laughs> when I'm sober. What's back you got, Ken? What year? 2020. 2020. Rug special. special. What else you do to it? Yeah. Did you buy it like that? No. I bought it with stock. Put bars on it, spread, just lower bearing, crash bar, all new lights, floorboards, breather, seat. The, oh, I know, I'm gonna pick up that seat. That, the new exhaust. So you did all the work yourself? Oh, yeah, new stereo, speakers, and I've never guards. seen, Jay, have you ever seen this? What? I've never seen that before. What do you call it? Oh. New windshield. You, Two so windshields. Did you change the fairing on? Huh? Did you change the fairing? No, I put that. I put this lower fairing. Is that an extended reach seat? Does it push you back a couple inches? I want to, can I sit on it?
so it's the next day. I may have may have overserved myself a little bit. <laughs> but we had a great time. Thanks to everybody at Harley Davidson of Waco and all the great people that worked there. It was a fun event. And um, I actually talked to them about demoing one of their extended reach. I think they call it the Harley Tall Boy or something like that. Maybe demoing one of the extended reach seats. I feel like I need to, I don't know. Um, there's people, friends of mine that are taller than me. I'm 6'2 or so. And I just feel like I'm too close to everything. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of it I think is like tension because I'm still a little little tense when I'm riding it. It, it points, I'm getting, getting more comfortable. But anyway, so I think I'm gonna uh, take them up on that and maybe try to demo one of their seats sometime here in the next week or so. So say hi Pablo. Anyway. Thanks again for watching. Subscribing really helps. Comment, commenting, liking, it's all great. I'm gonna keep making them. Let's see where it goes. Ow! <laughs>